Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game, Action Alien Tropical Mayhem, where we've been tasked with uh, blasting a whole bunch of aliens out of a South Seas island. And you might be saying, so exactly the game Crisis. And I'm like, yes, exactly the game Crisis, except built with a free copy of the Unreal Development Kit 3 in the year 2018. So, better than Crisis? What he's trying to say on a bridge is that it's exactly like Manhunt, but it's not. Okay. This is my third time trying to load up the game. I think this one's going to work. Uh, as you can see, I've parked my boat over a void of nothingness. I, uh, I tried to switch the controls, so hopefully W will make me go forward, but uh, it hasn't been lately. Z has been. Okay, here we go. Because apparently some people have something called an Azerty keyboard instead of QWERTY. I would love a machine gun. How do I pick that up? Do I walk over it or... Okay. Boom. I am pressing E to open the upgrade menu. Ah, there it is. So, uh, if I press 1, I'll get more cartridges with my credits. But I don't have any money. Oh, improve boots and armor. Nice. All right. Let's do this, everybody. So, how do I get to the... Ah, there we go. Awesome. Remember how I was supposed to get into the boat and drive there? Well, apparently I got into the boat, but the boat didn't actually leave the bo other boat. There we go. Perfect, everybody. All right, now to... Wow, this zone of nothingness really seems to be sticking with me. There we go, we made it onto actual water. Let's go take back some islands, people. All right, so where's my boat? So now I'm going to Alien Nest 1s and 2. Hey, Alien Bandit settlements are over there on the side. Nice. All right, everybody. Aliens... You're ready to learn a valuable lesson about friendship? I mean, probably not, right? <laughs> I like that kick animation. Okay, sooner rather than later, buy a, uh, a kick upgrade, everybody. Let's do this. Alright, so that's obviously the alien settlement over there. There's raptors. There's giant raptors. Whoa, hey there, guys. This really does feel like a cell phone game, doesn't it? That is a ton of aliens. That is definitely more than I was expecting. Yeah. That's right. In their alien culture, there's like regular aliens, then there's aliens who break alien laws, and even within the alien cultural paradigm, those aliens are especially uh, loathsome. So, how do I use grenades? Is it, is it G? It was G. It flew right through them. It is not a sticky grenade. Don't know why I expected it would be. No, the sound design isn't bad in the game. No, it is. It's a lot of fun, the sound. I don't know why you're criticizing the sound. It sounds wonderful. It's just a wall of nonsense coming at you from all angles, which is making me enjoy it more than I thought I would. Seriously, does this guy, like, have a special thing where he doesn't... Oh, no, I was about to... Thanks for always putting my armory's location on the map, guys. It's going to be hugely helpful later. So where was that alien base? Got to be under somewhere, right? Ah, here we go. Alien base.
So I'm guessing they have, like, unlimited aliens, right? Oh, there it is. That is so many aliens. How do I plant bombs? Oh, you have to do a timer to plant bombs. Mini nope, you don't. Hey, guys. Funny story. Okay, grenades are less useless than I had thought. You'll excuse me, I'm going to plant a third bomb now and kill all of you. Ow! Oh, I haven't actually planted the bomb. You just lied and told me I have. I see. Huh. So if there are infinite aliens who are constantly respawning and charging you, how are you ever going to get a clear moment long enough to actually plant bombs? Hey, USSR, how's it going? Maybe if I lead all of the aliens away? Huh. Oof. Quite a call back there, unabridged. Yes! Looks like someone set up them the bomb. That's my last reference to that today. Okay. So, I, uh, I planted one of a possible three bombs. I'm going to run back to my uh, base. Hopefully these aliens are all allergic to salt water and won't, uh, you know. Boom. And uh, won't bother me once I get there. Hey, guys. Actually, uh, I, I had a theory the other day about the movie Signs. No, it definitely isn't. Uh, about the movie Signs, and everyone's like, if they're allergic to water, why would they go to a, come to a planet that's 99% water? And my thought was, what if the aliens weren't allergic to salt water? What if they were 100% fine with salt water, and even thought salt water was great? And they needed salt water to survive. And the aliens full-on didn't understand the concept of clean water, because there's, comparatively speaking, on the planet Earth, so little clean water compared to the amount of salt water that a scan, even an intensive scan of the planet, wouldn't realize that clean water was a thing that existed. Well, that would explain why they came to Earth, in fact. That's a bit of a stretch, and you can't really support my theory using the events of the film. But, uh-oh, I'm drowning. That was embarrassing. Well, almost embarrassing. Dear game, how do I get back on the boat? What? Maybe if I park the, this other boat next to it and jump over? It's gotta be it, right? What do you think is at the bottom of that void? You know, we'll find out later. Right now, we're actually gonna try and clear one island of infestation before we give up. Alright. Uh, I saw a uh, list on BuzzFeed that was just uh, people who didn't understand what a plot hole was complaining about their least favorite plot holes. And I'm like, so you just don't know what a plot hole is? Huh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It costs me 30 cartridge, 30 credits every time I want 100 bullets. But it cost me 400 bullets just to earn 200 cartridges. So that's like 
50% of the money. That seems unfair. It does seem like at least some sort of a, a thing down to the realm of Dagon. Let's buy some explosive bullets. Let's buy a bunch more bullets. Let's get one health kit since I'm almost out of health. And then we're out of money because in this game, you don't have free ammo. So I tried to play a little more uh, uh, post-world. After seemingly giving up on post-world, I decided to play a little bit more post-world. Oh my god, are you seeing this? The aliens are running along the floor of the ocean trying to get me. That's amazing. Anyway, so I was playing a little more post-world. And I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to actually try to do this. And I think the developers really don't understand how inconvenient and, frankly, anti-entertaining it is to have enemies constantly moving left and right when you're trying to shoot them. Just, no, guys, you've gotten this horribly awry. Is this the same one I was trying to blow up earlier? No, that's a different one. But more importantly, so I, I found a settlement, right? Why am I not shooting? I'm clicking the button and no shooting is happening, everybody. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but for a while I couldn't shoot. There we go. Anyway, uh, so I finally made it to a settlement, tried to buy some ammunition. And it turned out that 50 bullets costs 200 space bucks. So every time I fire a bullet, that costs $4. It takes 20 bullets to kill a guy. If you hit shoot with 100% accuracy, it might take you only 16 bullets to kill a guy. But I'm assuming you're going to miss, like, 20% of the time. You could actually end up missing a lot more, and this is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> They're actually pushing forward the corpses of their friends. Uh, but anyway. Wow, I kind of like the clouds of dust they leave behind them. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, so that means anytime you kill a guy, if he doesn't drop, um, you know, at least $80 worth of stuff, there was no point in trying to kill that guy. Oh, right, it's gonna blow up. I, I think I actually killed all of them. But now I have to go back to the boat to buy more bombs. Okay, yeah, no, this seems doable. This seems... <laughs> I gotta say, if you gave me somewhere closer to unlimited ammunition game, I think I would be positive about this game. Like, deeply questionable sound design aside, really odd uh, design decisions aside, I think if I had unlimited ammo, I would be having a great time. And like, instead of making me buy more ammo, you like, let me spend the credits upgrading my gun. I think this would be kind of like a party. A $3 party, a $2.95 party, but a party nonetheless. It's true, the footsteps are always right in your ear at all times in this game. And I gotta say, I know it's not a sign of good things, but the spectacle of all of the guys kicking up dust as they run along the bottom of the ocean is kind of super entertaining. Yeah, if I, if I had a helicopter, and I was just zooming around the islands, blowing stuff up with helicopters, then yeah, this game would be fantastic. Alright, here we go. Feel free to uh, ignore what uh, Shaggy is saying, Sly. That is, that is what most of us do. Sorry, what uh, Maddie is saying. So, fun fact... 
I didn't get enough money. Oh, wait, no, you get three bombs when you buy. It's fine. I thought I didn't get enough money to buy three more bombs. All right, let's go finish off this island, people. This is so silly. Uh, yeah, I apologize, Shaggy. All right, where are the bad guys? Shouldn't they have followed me all the way here again? How far could they be? Anyway, uh, check out. Next up, we're going to be playing something called Lamplight City, which is a brand new game that is a old-style graphic adventure that I know nothing about except it's pixel art and it looks beautiful. It doesn't come out for a week and a half, but uh, they have said that it is fine to stream and do videos of the first of the game's five cases, so we're going to do that tonight. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Because I'm a, I'm a fan of old school graphic adventures. You know, your, uh, your Gabriel Knights and whatnot. And it looks to be a spooky mystery. Oh, have you already seen Lamplight? Panda? I just found out, I literally just found out about it last night. Uh, ah, no! Brad was like, there's two games we need covered. Do you want both of them? And I was like, sure. 100%. I will take both of them. And uh, one of them was Lamplight. Alright, so, here's my question. Does everybody give you the same amount of... No, no, everyone seems to be giving me three. Alright, I'm almost dead. Can I destroy these eggs to keep them from respawning? Or... No, it doesn't look like it. You really do have to set up us the bomb. Which I'm fine with. Okay, I've got 9% health. Can I finish this before I die? Please die. Oh no, I'm Nope. No, we're not going to make it. Three, two, one. No! We died as we planted the bomb. Nice. Oh. That was pretty awesome. Okay, this has been... Uh, a very, very silly game that I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would. Action Alien Tropical Mayhem. I gotta say, you give me unlimited ammo in that, and I might actually be willing to play that again. So, look into that, developer. As you can see, they're raptors, and then there are giant dinosaurs who stand on their hind legs and have lasers attached to their heads. So things are gonna get badass later in this game. Alright, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like to be here for the uh, live streams of these games get played, I would check out the Discord channel. Because uh, that's where I announce it. I will see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, au revoir.